Okay, let's see. We got some stuff to play with again. That's a whole set of um, sensors that I got. Thought we just do them. Yeah, unbag it or an unbox it. So, what was it? 37 in one um, sensor kit. So, let's see what some of this stuff looks like. through every single one of them. Um, we can probably, if I put that list in the back, then we can kind of try and, try and go quickly through what these are. So, let's see if this works. Um, This infrared emulation, so some kind of infrared control chip. <clears throat> I mean, you can probably we can probably find or find the more detailed connection instructions on this. This, this package didn't come with any instructions how to do anything at all. But um, ah, probably doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, so we have infrared control. Uh, let's see. What do we have here, what's this? Uh, try and keep it directed to the camera. Um, still training to do the reverse filming thing. No, it's not so easy. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find this on the list. I haven't actually gone through this in uh, prior. Hmm. I can't seem to find what the... Ah, there it is. Let's see. Tap module. Tap module. Hmm? Someone can like tap on it, I suppose. It's got a spring in it. That's that's exciting. Okay. If they say that that's what it is, then that's what it is. Okay, here's a read relay. You can see like uh, ball um, contacts and doesn't contact. I wonder if they call it a read relay or something else. Let's see if I can find. to find, the, find this one in the list. But I mean obviously it's a switch and it has a lead connected to it so then you can see there's a, there's a ball inside there that kind of moves backwards and forwards making contact. So we call it a switch. An orientation based switch. And then we've got here then. And then we have um, Probably a um, ultrasonic something. Small sound. So that's either a speaker or a microphone. So it doesn't. <laughs> no, actually, this is a module they call big sound. <laughs> It's not a very big sound, that's for sure. Well, okay. moving on. This is probably some kind of a temperature sensor. 
Let's see. Yeah. Analog temperature. Okay. This looks pretty much exactly the same, but it's got a potential meter to adjust it. Could be a photoresistor. The, some of these modules look the same in the pictures. Analog hub. I said I do not really want to hang around too much on the... Oh, this is how magnet magnetic, I think. This one. Ah, ah sort of magnetic field. Field sensing. Mm, kind of cool. RGB? Good shape. This looks like some LEDs or a reed switch. I think this is a reed switch. Magnetic activated. Optocoupler. That's quite easy to recognize. And again, these that look the same in the pictures. There are quite a few that uh, all of them say how magnetic and it's hard to see without really taking a magnifying glass to the pictures they have. It's hard to say which is which. could have had bigger pictures because it's uh, like this. there's several modules that look exactly the same. But anyway, lots of different modules. I wonder if this would be easier to find in the picture collection. Seven color flash. Hmm. Uh, might be it. That seems to be a light sensor. That's quite easy to understand. Okay, another one. As I said, the pictures are too small really to see, so one can probably get it figured out if one spends more time looking at the pictures. But it's annoying when they're like this, all of them, they got like a component that has three legs, and then it's like there can be many of those different ones if one doesn't start looking, at, really looking into the details of them of the board. And here's the same kind of same kind of sensor relay. I thought they had one of these already. Let's see if we can find this one then. This wasn't a very good unboxing. <laughs> so hard to find the explanation for us. It's another lead. Yeah, here's another ball. I oh, seem to have duplicates of some of these. Because they have the same function. So I suppose maybe one gets more like more than one piece of each. This is a buzzer. Biz biz. We'll go here then. This is a thin board. This should be easy to find. That's a tracking something. Okay. Don't know what tracking means. Probably have to look it up on their on their website or on the internet. Uh, this is for temperature humidity sensor. Pretty standard. Now oh, this I can say what it is. It's a relay. Probably. 
single pole. Hmm. I would have expected that this should have been the infrared one. Because it's a black black lead on it. This one is. It looks like there's a sensor in there. No, I wonder if it's some kind of a laser. I wonder if they would have shipped a laser. Light cap. Could it be a light cap? Ah. We will test. Some of these have been really joined together. Some of them joined. Oops. Yeah, to separate. Okay, here's the guns. Leads of some kind. I mean, one will find it in the picture, it's just the one you can't really spend all the time in the world while making this kind of a video, looking for it. And, uh, I mean, the pictures are, are quite small. This is probably a... What does it say? Piazza. Buzzer. Yeah, yeah. So this is a buzzer. Buzz buzzer. Nice to have those small sizes though. Don't know what that is. This is probably a microphone, most likely. And then, oh, this is probably our RGB LED. Do you want an RGB LED again in another form, actually? Okay, don't know what that is. Oh, there, ball switch. Okay, so there's a ball switch. <laughs> What's a ball switch? <laughs> okay, and then one with two potentiometer adjusting. Now, what? A void, it says. Okay, whatever that means. I don't know what they would mean by a void. Aha, uh -huh, it's a kind of like uh, infrared transmitter receiver pair. The end of it. And this is a joystick. Small joystick. And here we have a potentiometer. So I don't know. Yeah, you can find these on, you know, various Chinese websites. Um, but the interesting enough, they're all pretty much the same configuration. So I think that somebody. Some manufacturer somewhere in the world has made a uh, Arduino test set, or, or an Ar no, an Arduino kit, which then contains exactly these 37 sensors, and then the Chinese just copied the the idea and uh, took them as their own. So um, yeah, well, I just thought I'd show it off. Um, I don't know, I just, uh, I didn't really cover them in that detail, but I don't think that that's important. I just wanted to show you that this kind of kits exist. 
and um, I could recommend buying like one you know, because then one can actually build different kinds of prototyping prototyping scenarios you know with experimental sensors of various kinds and then one can actually buy more of a specific sensor so one knows what one when one experiments with one sensor then one knows that it will work and then one can go buy what exactly what one needs Okay, so the usual disclaimer for cars, if the audio works and the pitch is quality good, then I will upload it. And I mean, you could leave comments, anybody could leave comments if they want <laughs> me to show a specific, any one of these specific sensors actually in use. And I could actually wire it up and, and um, demonstrate it. But I mean, they're pretty generic. Temperature, light, sort of distance, whatever. So nothing, nothing that super special, but they're very useful to have at once in a prototype building different stuff. Okay, so see everybody later.